In today's lesson, we're going to use our example data set of student data and we're going to learn about joins. We'll discuss two different kinds of joins, inner joins and outer joins. An inner join is a very simple and straightforward join that takes data present in both tables and joins them on the column that you've specified. It doesn't matter which order you specify the tables in, and only data that's present in both tables is returned to the output. If data's present in one of your two tables, it won't be in the output. Let's take a look at an example. Here we have two tables from our data set. We have student and we have grade. And you can see that the students have an ID, a name, and the year that the student is in their studies. In the grade table, we have the ID, which is the foreign key to the student's ID. We have the class that the student has taken and the year that the student took that class. And then we got the score that the student received in that class. If we'd like to join together the student's name with their class and the score that they got from that class, we can use the inner join that's shown at the top. Select name, class, and score from student, inner join, on the grade table using ID as the key to join things together. The output from that will combine the name from the student table and the class and the score from the grade table. It will use the ID to join those two things together. So this is the output that we see. We have name, class and score. We have our students that have taken their classes, the classes they took, and the scores that they got. Our syntax is very simple. Select, from, inner join, and using. Select name, class, score, from, student, inner join, grade, using ID. Select the columns we want from the first table, inner join on the second table, using the ID as the key to join things together. It doesn't matter if we say select name, class, and score from student, inner join, grade, or if we say select name, class, and score from grade in a join student. The result will be the same. In addition to using the word using, we can use the word on. Using relies on the fact that there's two columns, one in each table, that's called the same thing and has the same data type. If those conditions are true, we can use that column to join our two tables together. Instead of using using, we can use on. And on allows us to specify exactly which columns we'd like to use in our join. For example, in this, in this example, I have, we're going to do an inner join on grade.class equal to instructor.class and on grade.year equal to instructor.year. This is a complex query. We also have a using as well. We have both using ID and on grade.class. And in fact, we have two different inner joins that are occurring here. First, we're joining student and grade, and then we're joining the output of that with instructor. Let's have a look. Here's the output that we get from that SQL query. Hopefully, if you've installed our test data set and MySQL, you can try this query yourself and see the output that you re receive. 
as you can see our output includes the name of our student the name of the instructor the class the year which of course is the same between instructor and student and the score that the student received in that class here we're using ID to join student and grade and we're using on to join grade and instructor so what does this command return type this into your SQL and see the output that you get back in this command we are limiting our search to the instructor who's called Edwards and we're gonna join the outputs between instructor and grade using the two columns class and year our selection is going to return name class and the average score and of course we've grouped our results by class so this is the average score of the class that this instructor has taught and the name of the instructor, the class, and the average score of his classes. In our data set, we only have one score for 310, and so that score is returned. We only have one score for CS503, and that score is returned. We have two scores for CS696, and so the result is our average of those two scores. If you look at the data, the scores are 3.9 and 4. So 3.95 is the average of those two values. You don't need to use the explicit phrase in a join as I've done in these examples. This is an example we've already seen where we're selecting name, student.year, class, score from grade, and we're in a joining that on student using ID. An alternative, an equally valid way of writing this query is to say select name, student.year, class and score from grade comma student where student.id equals grade.id. This is similar to the on syntax that we've just seen we don't necessarily need to have the same column name in both tables. We can specify different columns. Instead of having student.id and grade.id, we could have different names for our two columns. The student refers to the student table, the grade refers to the grade table, and the ID refers to the columns in those two tables. We just list the tables that we'd like to join with our statement here using a, a comma. We've talked about inner joins. Inner joins are very simple. They take data from two different tables and provided there's similar data in both tables, they'll join those results and give them back to you. An outer join is the alternative kind of join. It combines information from two tables like inner join does. However, the outer join returns information that's present in either of the tables combined with the other table. So there's two different kinds of outer join. A left outer join, sometimes called a left join, and a right outer join sometimes called a right join. The word outer is a little bit uh, unnecessary as we'll see. So here's an example of an outer join where we're selecting ID, name, class and score from our student table using a left outer join to the grade table and we're using ID as our common 
attribute to join the two tables together. As we saw from our inner join, students S Dent have some classes and some scores. Student P Smith has some classes and some scores. That's the same data that was returned from our inner join. The difference between an outer join and an inner join is the student V Jones. In this case we have a student who hasn't taken any classes and so does not have any classes or scores. With a left join we return the student's information but we return null values for their class and score because there is no information there. Student V Jones is not in the grade table. Take a look at your grade table and you'll see only S Dent and P Smith are in those two tables. The word outer is optional. You can just say left join. Select ID, name, class, score from student, left join, grade, using ID. A left outer join takes all of the information in the left table and joins it with the appropriate information in the other tables, in the right table. The corollary to that is the right outer join, which takes all the information in the right table and joins it with the appropriate information in the left table. So as we saw, the student who is present in the student table, which is on the left, is not present in the grade table on the right. In a left join, we get all of that information. In a right join, we get information that's in the right table that's not necessarily present in the left table. So take a look at your tables and see if any of the results returned from this query will be none. We're going to select name, class, year, and score from grade. We're going to write out a join that result with instructor and we're going to use the class and the year as our attributes to join these two tables together. Here's our two tables, grade and instructor. So are there any instructors who are in the right table that have not taught a class and year combination. We can see that CS310 in 2007 was taught, CS503 in 2006 was taught, CS503 in 2007 was taught, and CS696 in 2008 was taught. But we don't have a combination for CS310 in 2006. So in this case, we will have a name, a class and a year of Riggins CS310 2006 and null for the score. There we go. Riggins CS310 2006 and a null value. So in this lesson, we've learned about inner joins which combine data from two or more tables. It doesn't matter about the order of the tables and it only combines information that's present in both tables. We also learned about outer joins. It takes data from either the left table or the right table and adds information from which other tables you specify. The main difference between the inner join and the outer join is the inner join will only return data that's present in both tables. The outer join will return all the data that's present in either the left table or the right table with whatever data it can find from the other table. 
So the order of the tables in an outer join is very important. 